Did you see AOC's tweet? She says, I'm really starting to believe Elon Musk is my soulmate. There's that f talk we talked about. So there's this hilarious parody AOC account that is causing the real AOC to have a bit of a melty. <laughs> Yesterday, the real AOC tweeted out, FYI, there's a fake account on here impersonating me and going viral. The Twitter CEO has engaged in it, boosting visibility. It's releasing false policy statements and gaining spread. I am assessing with my team how to move forward. In the meantime, be careful of what you see. So here AOC is upset that someone has made an account essentially making fun of her. That's all they're doing. They're just making fun of her dumb political takes and honestly having a blast doing it because the stuff that they're coming out with is hilarious. The parody account even replied to this tweet and they had to say, I'm still not going to date you. So about a little after AOC did this tweet, the account, the parody account had lost its blue check mark. Now keep in mind, that means the parody account would have had to have had paid money for that check mark, whereas uh the real AOC has a great check mark, meaning she is part of the government, which is a great way of telling the difference between the two accounts, besides the fact that it actually says parody in the name. You can't see that here, but you have to click. I did run across this account like three days ago, and I had to, I, I had to, I, I, I don't remember the tweet, but I'm like, that's a little too on the nose here. So what did I do? I clicked on the account. And I saw, oh, that makes so much sense. So about an hour after the check mark was removed, the check mark was given back. So is this, how did this happen? Like, what, why? I, I, I know nothing about what happened except for the fact that the check mark was gone and then it was, and then all of a sudden it was back. So is there still weirdness going on at Twitter? Probably. Now, they went on to go and continue the parody. After brainstorming with my staff, I'm going to push Congress to make it illegal to joke, laugh, or make fun of me. Parody should be illegal. Which is kind of what AOC was trying to do. If anything, she wanted Twitter to censor this person because she was making fun of her. The, this account's making fun of her. And so they just want to censorship. And it's because this account is so on the nose. Let me pull up another one here. Oh, this is this is another response. Great, great news. I personally called Twitter headquarters and told them I was going to hold my breath until my face turned blue. And they instantly removed the blue check from that racist white supremacist parody AOC account. So I think it's this one. Yes, this one is so good. In honor, in honor of Memorial Day, pray for Ukraine. We invested billions in democracy because Build Back Better is about putting foreigners first. This is a silly tweet. Anyone paying attention would know that the real AOC would not say anything like this. But the fact that she's so concerned that people would confuse something like this with her is a bit telling. So... I recommend if you're on Twitter, go give this person a follow. It's hilarious. They've got so much more. Every time my boyfriend farts, I make him plant a tree to offset carbon emissions. I, that's, I bet I wouldn't be surprised if the real AOC did that. There was also another one about how trans farts are less toxic to the environment. So please go check this out. Almost forgot. I wanted to read a bit from this Chris Pratt post from a few Memorial days ago. If you want, I recommend looking at all of it. The pictures are amazing, heartbreaking, and they and what he has to say is great. I'm just going to read the last bit of it from it here. Just look up Chris Pratt Memorial Day post and we'll come right up. 
And if you use the comment section on posts like this to bitch and moan about America, please understand there are countries in the world where criticizing your government will get you killed or imprisoned. Criticism is a right and necessity in amending the flawed system of man. So by all means, let your voice be heard, but never forget your right to free expression is paid in blood. This parody account is a very lighthearted form of criticism that is absolutely hilarious. It bothers AOC because they're kind of right. So yeah, short video. I hope you liked it. Until next time, have a good one.